it's probably going to take me about two years to get this place the way I want it. We just moved in a couple of months ago, and um, now we're trying to work and do things in between and get the space the way we like it. This is basically, um, you know, pipe for pipe railings and railing stock. Those are for handicap rails mostly, and just pipe rails in schools and you know commercial buildings. Mm -hmm. Then you have your molded top rail for your, um, you know, your basic house railings with the half inch squares. And then you have your bottom rail here. And the posts are made of one inch solid square posts. So nothing cheap. This saw is, we use this to cut numerous amounts of things, angles, beams, pipes, all different types of stuff. This bender makes like sweeps and railings. Railings like this, you know, the big long sweeps. So if you have like a big curve rail, we make templates of the rail and we can make the curve as big as you have it. And, and um, that's what we use this for. Drill press. Um, this is a, a pipe bender. It does all tight radiuses. And I'll show you a couple of railings that we have already made over there that, that this will form. Another drill press. Um, we got MIG welders, a TIG welder, another, two more MIGs over there. This is a layout bench for our railings. These chalk lines are a railing that's laid out now for the next job. And that's the pitch going down the stairs. And this is the platform of the railing right here. And there's going to be a couple of twists. That's what these are for. This is also going to get some scrolls in here. Uh, something like that. And this is our scroll maker. That blue and red machine right in the back there is a picket twister. So this rail is going to get a six inch tight twist. That's what that machine is set up for. So we want to center this so it's 32 inches. So I'm going to go 16 and I'm going to go three and then three. Right there. So the back mark is here and here. That's where the twist is going to be. You can do a very loose twist. Something like that, where we don't do as many rotations. And make it tight. So you can make the twist as much, whatever your heart desires to make. And that's what you have for a twist on this one. This is a house rail, as you can see. And this woman really likes fancy, fancy. So she wanted these little bird's nests put in, which we buy, we buy these, they're forged, but we have to fit them into the rail. These we make here. I demonstrated that. This is called a lamb's tongue, and we bend that on that machine over there. This is a different rail. They didn't want any pickets in here at all. They just wanted the top rail and, you know, scroll so you can sort of design. This is something they already had, so we matched it. They have this on the walkway and they wanted the stair rails to match what they have on the walkway. There's a lot more railing on their walkway. This just happened to be damaged. We took it out and fixed it for them. So a friend of mine wanted a pots and pans rack. This is, she wants something very basic and simple. So I just want to show you. This is for the flat, so the pans will be flat against the wall. And we're going to make a bunch of hooks. So she just, you know, puts them where she wants and she puts her pots where she wants. And then this is for the pots that go this way. And that's why we have it so far off the wall. 
So we have the basic torches, you know, like the old days. We still heat things up to form stuff. And we have a couple of anvils in the shop. There's a small one here and a large one in the, on the, in the corner over there. This machine is an iron worker. It does a number of different things. This here, we can put in the center over here and it cuts angle up to six by six by three eighths. Um, it shears it. But right now we have it set up because we're doing railings over here. This is a pipe notcher set up. It puts the, the notch in the pipe so before we weld it we can fit it together and makes a nice tight fit you know when we're making railings. And then we have the shear. It's basically we put the piece in we can shear any like right now it's square. We can put it in an angle if we want it like a bevel cut on it. And it doubles it. If we need a hole punched in it, so there's one hole right now. Now there's two. So everything you see here, except for the forklift, is basically going to go on top of my new office that I'm building. Um, on top of the mezzanine. So this whole area, um, this big space that I rent to someone that is looking for a 14, uh, 40 by 60 foot space. That's 40 foot by 60 foot deep. I got some newspaper clippings and two different papers we were in for different jobs we've done. Have you been to the Tweeter Center? That we did, we put this in. It's it's behind all that wood is all steel. Eighty thousand pounds of steel up on the hill. Mm -hmm.